go over to meteorologist Craig Setzer, who is happy, smiling, because maybe you can resume your vacation after all. <laughs> I'm supposed to be off for three days this week, and, well, nature called, two right? Days. <laughs> two days. Two days. Right, well, two now. Two days will resume beginning right. tomorrow. So keep my fingers crossed, because this thing is struggling and probably not going to be around by this time tomorrow night. It's Tropical Depression 3 with 30-mile-an-hour winds, and that's probably a little generous. The movement is to the northwest at 10, about 65 miles to the southeast of West Palm Beach, almost north of Bimini, uh, just to the east of Fort Lauderdale. Here's the future track, and this takes us into 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and then 8 p.m. tomorrow evening, and at that point, it is forecast to dissipate. It never becomes a tropical storm. It never really gets its act together. There's just too many things going against it. And in fact, the significant wind probabilities are just a low patch of low wind chances of reaching tropical storm force strength and those offshore. It is showing up tonight, though, now that a few showers and thunderstorms have developed around it. You can see the swirl there becoming illuminated once again as it moves to the north, north of Bimini now. And a pretty good area of thunderstorms just to the north and east of Broward County have been mostly offshore. We may see a few of these thunderstorms stray onshore as we go through the evening. Our Wind Jam Resort camera from Lauderdale by the Sea is looking off to the northeast towards the lightning. The lightning's calmed down just a little bit. Temperatures 80 in Miami, 84 in Lauderdale, Hollywood, 80 in Key West. A 7 on the stick in the scale feels like 84. A very light west-northwest breeze, and that's on the backside of that Tropical Depression 3 circulation. Temperatures today made it into the low to mid-90s, so a little bit above normal. More of that in store, and current feels like temperatures in the upper 70s to the low to mid-80s. There's the moisture from the Tropical Depression. It is going to scoot on to the north, but we're not going to dry out because there is moisture ahead of this big dip in the jet stream that's going to come over us and that's going to favor mainly after an evening showers and thunderstorms right through Friday and plenty of hot sunshine outside of those thunderstorms. Elsewhere in the tropics, very quiet in the Gulf. Lots of wind shear has been persistent over the Caribbean. We like that because it suppresses any tropical activity. And except for TD3, tropical development not expected out there. Right now, the Atlantic remains mostly quiet. Temperatures across the country, they are comfortably cool. Remember the big heat wave that lasted for only a few days? It's only in the 60s in Boston, Cincinnati, 60s in uh, Chicago, and Denver in the 70s. In a cool air, it's not coming here. Don't worry about it. Our forecast for tonight looks like this. We're going to see some spotty storms, a warm breeze, a low temperature near 78. Tomorrow, we'll look for a mix of sun and clouds, pretty hot and humid once again. Highs in the low 90s and some spotty storms around. For boaters, winds out of the south to southwest at 10 to 15. Seas running 2 to 4 feet. A light chop on the bays and taking us through the rest of the week. It's a return of hot summertime weather with mainly afternoon storms.